Namaste. Ah, India. Uh, excited. Nervous. I'm not sure what it's going to be like. Uh, initially, I found the. Um, even as we drove out of the airport, there was people living on the roadside. These are real lives. We're driving past. Um, I feel, I'm not sure it's going to be like, we're not sure if it's going to be people hanging on from the edge of the train, climbing on randomly from the tracks. If that happens, that happens. I was anxious. I thought it would be more um, nature. Like, I know there's, there's a lot of nature, but I thought it would be more um, fields, hills. In a moment, we'll be in a beautiful countryside with rice paddies, birds flying, Monkeys climbing through the trees, and we could walk five minutes up the road and we'll see you know, people absolutely living on the edge. I went to visit one of the kids in the school who, who lives in a tin shack you know, beside a road, you know, and that is, that is their reality. And you know, just in the initial 20 minutes of in the van, thinking, oh, I don't know if I can do this. Uh, community here has been really great. So, one of the first things we did was a community walk. Led around the local village, we got to say hello to everyone, they got to know us, local shopkeeper. Hey everybody! We're just going on a trip round to the community, we've seen some goats, we've taken pictures of the locals. The locals have like really embraced us, so it's really good. And it's, yeah, it's interesting, very interesting. And they're bringing their babies out to say hello, and they was handing flowers out. We've been teaching in the local school, yeah, it's been an in-depth experience, we've been integrated into the community, we're mm. part of the community, we're here, we'll contribute, we'll do our things, they've been really hospitable to us. Where the particular place we are, there's a very big, like, you can feel, like, even you can just feel, like, there's a very big sense of community, and, like, everyone helps each other. I like how it's so much different from England, I like how you could just let your children walk out, ooh, walk out the um, streets, no one, no one's really bothered. And the best part of being here for me is how strong the community is. Like their bond is so solid and that just makes me so happy. Like everyone here is so at peace with each other. Like everyone is at one. It's like the harmony, the respect they have for each other. You're at home, you don't get there. Everyone's walking the road with their heads in their phones and it's so, it's just so different. There is a it's a magic about India that I, I can't explain. There's just something but they truly do value people here and something we've lost a long time ago. I love India to be honest. I like how people are. I like the way people speak to each other, one, one another. I just like the dynamic, like nice. Like it's really nice and people are really seem to be connected with, with each other. Sometimes it actually does like bring a tear to my eye thinking about how little they have and so happy they are. There should be a different word for that. I don't know what it is, but it probably is a Hindi word for it, I don't know, but it was just amazing. And I would have said that was just like one piece of India I'm going to take with me. Because that was just for us and no one else, so I truly believe that. And I feel like England, the way they portray India is so wrong. I think what's going to be different is my perspective of how I think of Indians. It's definitely changed the way I think about Indian people. I hope change other people's perspectives of Indians as well because they're actually really smart people and they're always very willing and very respectful of each other and very trustworthy. But my goodness, the breathtaking views, they, you, everything falls away, the fears, the worries. When you look out across you know, the ravines and the waterfalls and everything else, it's just like, it's worth every single moment of, of the travel. It's just jaw-dropping. It's, it's, you have to be here, you have to be here to experience it. Yeah. That's one of the things I love about India is, is the spectrum of experiences. If you're watching this and you have been out here before, you both or everyone knows it's amazing. If you haven't, you think India is just full of stuff you don't want to see. Brightly coloured and the most joyous place. The smells, the senses was absolutely amazing. We smelled all these different things. Monkeys jumping through trees, cows walking across the road, stopping the traffic. First few days, oh, it's a cow. Oh, it's now it's like oh. It's beautiful. So the view is gorgeous. Hopefully tonight we'll see some bats and some mountains. That's exactly what India is, and it, my God, thank goodness I've done it. I would love to like live in India. Just come to India. Just come to <laughs> India. Enjoy, embrace.